Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're having a good day. I have this situation that I'm dealing with right now where I'm trying to bring something into After Effects from Cinema 4D. So I have this ball and I have a null on it and I want to replace this null in After Effects with a piece of text or a picture or something like that. And this situation comes up every once in a while. I can't quite put my finger on why it happens, but every once in a while the nulls don't behave properly in After Effects. And I don't know if it's a version thing or it's possible that it's this, um, I have a vibrate tag on this camera um, and this null is nested inside this camera. So maybe um, it's having a hard time figuring out the position data of the camera plus the vibrate tag. Um, it happens every once in a while and it's very frustrating, but I do have a workaround which might be useful in certain occasions for you. So we have our null with a, um, a external compositing tag. And before you used to have to go to save and you'd go to your compositing project file and you would save out your After Effects project file. You don't have to do that anymore. Right now you can just, with uh, some of the recent updates, you can just drag your Cinema 40 file into After Effects and then you can drag it into a new composition and we'll have this Cineware plugin and at the bottom we can just click extract and that's gonna extract our camera and our null. And I actually have this rendered out so I'm just gonna paste it in here so we can see what's going on a little bit. So it looks sort of like everything is going okay right now. If we click on that null, it is stuck on the ball. Um, but something weird happens right here. It just disappears. The null completely just goes away. So for the first part, it's there perfectly and we can use it and then it's just gone. So this is really frustrating, but I have found that one thing you can do, um, it's not a great fix, but it's a little bit of a hack. You can just take whatever has the animation. So right now, um, the null does not have any keyframes on it. It is a child of the camera, which has the keyframes. So what we're gonna do is right click on the camera, go to show tracks, and then in the timeline, we can go to function and bake objects. And I just clicked on all parameters and that's going to bake your position, scale, rotation, and on every frame, it'll force it to have a keyframe. So it's gonna duplicate your whole camera and it's gonna make a copy. So this is the copy which has all of your keyframes and this is the original version. So we can just delete that, um, go into that camera and now this camera has a keyframe for every frame. And I'm not gonna go through all the steps, I've already done it, but basically if you bring in this Cinema 4D file, the one that's baked down and we click on that null, you can see that we have our cannonball and the null is stuck on there and right here where before it flew away, the null stays on there. So it's staying on there perfectly and you can stick anything you want on there. You can stick a picture or text and it will stick right on that ball. So that's just kind of a hack to get around that problem. Like I said, I don't know exactly why that's happening. It might be because of that vibrate tag, but whatever happens, if you're having trouble with your null, uh, coming in correctly, just go ahead and try and bake down that animation. Just forcing every frame to have a keyframe seems to kind of trick After Effects into reading it a little bit differently, and that should save you some headaches. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixlab, and we'll talk to you next time.